Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to explain to you what is a DHCP server and how does a DHCP server work? So just look into this network diagram that I have here. It always starts with several network devices, right? So at first you will have a probably a Wi-Fi router and then some computers that are connected and even mobile devices like your smartphone that is connected within the network. And of course, we have this network switch so that you can share it with other devices. Naturally, DHCP server is built in in this Wi-Fi router. Though, DHCP servers can be hosted in a network switch or, or in a computer. But in this scenario, let's take a look at a Wi-Fi router because by default, they have an active DHCP server, all right? Now, before we start explaining how a DHCP server works, let's define what is a DHCP. DHCP is actually a short term for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. It is a standardized network protocol used to automate the process of assigning IP addresses of devices that are connecting to a network, like these computers here, and of course your smartphone if you're trying to connect to a Wi-Fi. You don't need to manually assign IP address to these devices so that they can connect to a network. Now, the primary purpose of a DHCP is to simplify the management of IP addresses in a network like what we have here. This eliminates the need for manual IP configurations of these computers and of course your phones if you are trying to connect via Wi-Fi. Let's jump into the next question. How does DHCP work? So there is this DHCP process wherein it has a four steps. Now, these four steps is called DORA, all right? Now, DORA stands for Discover for D, which we have here, then O for Offer, then R for Request, then A for Acknowledge. Now, let's start with the stage one, which we call Discover. When you connect a computer to a network like what we have here, the first thing it's going to do is to send, okay, as you can see this arrow here, send a discovery message. Now, this message is a broadcast message in the entire network looking for a DHCP server, like this diagram. So, if you can see this one, I'm looking for a DHCP server. That's the content of the message. Now, the thing is, this computer right here, which is connected to the network is not a DHCP server. So he would say, I don't care because I'm not a DHCP server. Now, when that message reach a DHCP server like this, I am a DHCP server, this Wi-Fi router that we have here, this Wi-Fi router is going to respond to that discover message being sent by this computer that connected to the network. Imagine this one like a person shouting, hey, what's up everybody? Is there anybody there who call himself a DHCP server, right? So he keeps on shouting until a DHCP server hears out this discover message, then that's the time somebody is going to respond. So in this next stage, which is the offer, uh, O for offer, stage number two, this is the next thing that's going to happen. When a DHCP server hears out this message, the thing it's going to do is, yeah, I heard you, I am a DHCP server, I'm going to offer you an IP address. IP address and other configurations like subnet mask, default gateway, DNS servers, right? So it's going to respond to this message going back to the computer who requested or who was looking for a DHCP server. By the time that this DHCP server offered this configuration, the next stage happens because here you go, I'm going to offer you this configuration, this IP address, what are you going to do? So we jump in to the next stage. In the next stage, which is the request, R for request in the DORA process, 
The next thing that's going to happen to this computer who requested the IP address is that, yeah, I'm going to request what you have offered to me, right? So the computer who was sent the offer to would say, okay, I'm going to request that IP address to be mine, all right? So it's going to send out that request back to the DHCP server. The DHCP server would say, great, brah. Then we jump in to the final stage, which is the stage number four, acknowledge for A. So since the computer right here sent out that request for the IP address that was offered to be his, then to confirm the transaction and make this one as an IP address for the computer, he would rather say, I'm going to acknowledge your request. That message would contain an act message, act for acknowledge, so that this will be his IP address already. Thus, the four-step process is over that seals the deal. That's how your dynamic host configuration protocol works. Take note that this four-step process, DORA, happens in few seconds. So I hope you have learned something from this video, guys. And if you have any questions regarding DHCP DORA process, drop a comment down below. I'll try to answer them as much as I can. And if you have learned something from this video, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you in my next video.